Module 2 starts the pinning project, and the pinning project is using Pinterest. You'll get to it through this link up here. Our login is my email, and our password is Art101. you got to remember to capitalize that A. When you click on this link, it takes you into Pinterest. If you have your own Pinterest, it'll t probably take you into your own Pinterest, in which case you got to log out of yours and log into ours. One of the screens you might see first is this screen. It has all the boards on it that I want you to pin to. Basically, it's five visual elements and five principles of design that people usually have trouble with, at least thinking about it in the way that I would like you guys to think about it. And this helps me troubleshoot and gives you guys concrete examples of these certain elements before you get to the point where you're writing about them and so that way I can kind of keep you guys on the right track. And it's, it's also kind of fun. So these, it's a really easy project. It's easily graded. I, you get one point for just doing it. And you get one point if you're mostly on the right track. And I will go over some of these that I feel like a lot of people are having problems with. So um, there's two ways to pin to this. One is you can go into the actual boards, and if you go into the actual boards, you get the instructions. So you just poke on the board and it goes in, and it shows you this one. I want you to find an example of a line uh, or artwork that uses line, and then I want you to tell me um, what kind of emotion you think that line is trying to get across to you. And the line in particular, right? So don't worry about the picture that it is being made by the line, but the line itself. Think about just the line itself having emotion. So um, I have an example for you guys, and each one of these starts out with an example that I picked. And so in this one, you might think about the whole picture that it, maybe it makes you feel lonely, maybe you're wondering about this girl. I don't want you to worry about that. I want you to worry about what does this line look like to you? And so I decided this line is a serious line. It's no nonsense. It goes straight up, goes straight down. Okay, so you have two ways to post your own. One is, see the save pin over here? If you click on that, you can choose your own from the web or from your device. A lot of the kids in my 2D class uh, last fall were doing it straight from their phones because, you know, they'd forgotten to do it. And so they did it straight from their phones and they got an example up there. So that's one way to do it is you could have your own example somewhere. The other way is you go over here to this P over here and that P will take you to kind of a just a scroll of different pieces of artwork and I have chosen the boards that it pulls from now sometimes it does this where it gives you an ad for something but even an ad that's actually part of our paper that we're gonna write about ads so even an ad is an artwork so if that ad has something in it that you can point out as one of these visual elements or principles of design go ahead and use it so the other way to get it onto a board and this does require that you know exactly what I'm asking you for on each board um, that just say um, like for line you want to look for something that has obvious line right if you're color look for something that's using obvious color okay so let's just uh, for the sake of quickness let's choose this tree right here okay so and it's a picture of a tree so it could still be art actually there's some other funky stuff down here Ooh, what's going on Right now my computer's just going crazy. Okay, so let's go back. I don't, I don't want to do this video again, so I'm just going to choose this one, right? I just say I want this one, and I'm just dealing with the line in it. Um, and so I'm going to press the Save button on that. It's going to give you a list of all the boards. Okay, so you're going to have to go through and look for which board. And to save yourself a step, you could come over here and press the little pencil over here and put your name in and then choose an emotion so I think that line that she's created right there is kind of chaotic chaotic and emotion yeah, I'm just going to say it's emotion you feel chaotic? you can feel chaotic, right? okay, so you're going to save it to the board line 
Okay, and um, you will kind of want to watch. Make sure that somebody hasn't already chosen it. The new Pinterest will actually warn you if you choose it from this board. It'll say, oh, are you really sure? I think you've already pinned this. That will tell you somebody else has already done it. Now, the other thing about all of us being on one account is that if you're pinning at the same time, that won't show up, right? So you might accidentally both choose the same thing at the same time. I know it sounds weird. People do it all the time. And that'll show up right next to each other on the board. And so I'll be able to tell that you did it at the same time. You weren't doing it on purpose. Um, one of the glitches Pinterest has, it doesn't always show you that yours is on the board unless you actually go in there. And sometimes it wants you to log out and log back in. But as you can see, it popped up right here, right? Right next to mine over here. Um, I think in the interest of keeping it so that, you know, you guys aren't messing around with the editing qualities because, you know, some people accidentally make their own boards. I don't want you guys to change the name of our um, boards or by accident. So if you do pin something, you're like, oh, I really don't like that. Um, why don't you go ahead and just let me know and I will get rid of it. Let me know by email. I will get rid of it by hand. Okay. So it's as easy as that. If you guys have any questions, um, one of the tricky things that is not so user friendly these days is how to log out. Let's see, even I can't remember how to log out half the time. Okay, so it's these three dots out here, but you have to go back to the board. You can't be in a board or it's going to show you something else. So you're looking for those three dots on the page that has our little icon of the compass. I don't know why people are following us, but that's kind of fun. And um, then all the way down here at the bottom of all this stuff, then you want to log out. And if you could please log out, that might help uh, other people when they're trying to log in. Okay, so I think that's good. If you guys have any questions, uh, let me know. It only took me like four or five tries to get this recording done. <laughs>